Welcome in Marina Cala de Medici, the nice marina just in front of Elba Highland. We are here because we want to test one of the newest models of uh, Benetton, the Oceanis 30.1. Here with me I have Stefano Cioni. Stefano Cioni is another journalist of SVN, but is also one of the trainers of the Clipper Race, the, the famous regatta around the world. But before to go to speak with Stefano, let me introduce you NSS. NSS is the company that guest us here because Marina Cala de Medici is one boat test center of NSS. They have two boat test centers. One is here, one is in Sardinia in Marina Cala de Sardi. So if you want to buy a Benetto, you want to buy a lagoon, you can come here, visit the boat and test the boat. This is a quite rare thing. You can just go on the boat, go on the sea and make you personally a seal trial of the boat. And now let's go to meet Stefano Cioni. So we are on board of the new Beneteau Oceanis 30.1 and this is the smallest model of the fleet Beneteau. This has been present of the Cannes Yacht Show of 1219. This is follow the previous model that was the 31, the Beneteau Oceanis 31. The project of this yacht has been made by the Finot design for the exterior and for the interior for the Nauta design. So one of the main characteristics of this hull is the bulwark that comes vertically out of the water without affect the water line and the performance. One other characteristic is that this particular model has been made a tiny bit narrower than the previous one. Just because you have to save money to transport the boat from the shipyard to the final destination and to the new owner. Just because that's a budget boat. On the foredeck you can appreciate this big triangle, there is enough space of working on the foredeck even when the boat is heel over. On the very bow you can see a bowsprit, there is an unusual solution for, a, for the 30 footer and a very deep anchor locker that can accommodate something about 80 meters of chain, that means that you can anchor more or less everywhere in the bed, even in deeper water. One of the characteristics is that because we need to make more space on the master cabin, the first part of the anchor locker has been made horizontal. So just an annoying part, just push the chain down when you have to weight anchor. <clears throat> Following that, the standard rigging of the boat of this boat is uh, a self-tacking jib. You can find the jib sheet here in front of the mast. As said, this boat has a smaller beam than the previous one. So the only thing, the walk through here on both sides, it's a tiny bit compromised, so you can have the shrouds in the middle. This is given by the fact that we have such big spreaders and no backstays. It's quite handy because it's comfortable to use the coach roof of the boat just to pass back and forward and in case a quite solid handrail were very well positioned on top of the coach roof. We enter in the main element of this cruising yacht, there is the cockpit. This presents these two large seats and a big center table that could accommodate until very, very easily six persons. One of the characteristics is that on the starboard side we have one and very large rope locker. You can store here all your fenders, washing equipment, safety equipment, ropes, and so on. Um, this boat has just one layout, that is with a master and a gas cabin. On this side, there is the head, and that's why this locker is so big. On the very stern, you have a double steering position, and the characteristic of this boat is the twin rudder. On here, you can see the fiddlers. They are quite unusual, because it has been flattened so, a tiny bit less efficient than the normal ones, but safer. On here, a swim platform, like on the bigger model of the series, and the ladder. That has been quite surprising, 
and that we don't have fine on the cockpit a correct space to stow the life raft. As you can see, there is no place. So probably we are obliged to stow the life raft on the coach roof. The standard model of the 30.1, it came out from the shipyard without this winch. So with just three winches, the two one for the Jenneke sheets and this one for this rack of jammers. This is an optional and could help to work with a asymmetric spinnaker halyards. Okay, so as said, on this Beneteau 30.1, there is no backstays. That allows to hoist a top square mainsail. And even the position of the boom is quite lower than the previous model. That gives an easy sailing and easy handling of the sail. And so, from my point of view, is not recommend a furling mainsail system. Let's move on the interior. Nata Design has made a big job on this yacht because it has taken all the space available down below. And it's quite surprising when you step down the ladder, the space that you can feel. On the very bow, there is the master cabin with the double door that make an open space when opening with the saloon. And the saloon that, like the cockpit in here, could accommodate until very easily until six person. Moving back, we have an L-shaped galley with a sink with two burners and a an oven and a very, very large fridge. On the opposite side of the galley, we have a very big head that is unusual for a 30-footer. On the port side, we have a decent guest cabin that could accommodate easy two person, even if your legs they are underneath the cockpit. And now, ready to slip the lines and go ahead with the sea trial. Ideal condition today for a sea trial of the smallest of the Beneteau range, the 30.1. We got 12 knots from the west and rough sea. As you can see, it's very easy to steer this boat. We are sailing on a beam reach point of sail and we can appreciate how could be even faster the boat and never hysteric and never smashing passing the wave. The effective of the steering is given also by a solution that is due of the twin rudder helm then allows the helm to be reactive at all times, even when the boat is severely heels over, especially on a closed hole point of sail. As you can see, there is no backstays in this particular rigging. This means there is a 100% cruising boat. The easy sailing is the key of this boat. That means that we have a lot of space in the cockpit here and at all times, very handy solution like winches here that allows an easy sailing even with a symmetric spinnaker when you're sailing downwind. Welcome back in the harbor. We have enjoyed this trial and we have appreciated how accurate and fast could be a cruiser like this. Even sometimes in a windy and gusty condition always with a smooth movement on the wave. So we have to say thank you to the NSS Yacht Center here in Marina Cala de' Medici. And we have to remind you that this is not the full sea trial. The full article you can download in the description here below. And if you have enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe the channel and to click on the bell icon for notification. And see you on the next video on the SVN.